In the heart of rural Bengal, nestled amidst lush greenery and winding rivers, there existed tales of Brahmadatya, the enigmatic spirit of righteousness and benevolence. Stories of his deeds were whispered among villagers, passed down through generations, weaving a tapestry of awe and reverence. Brahmadatya, a figure shrouded in mystery, was said to be born from the spirits of righteous Brahmin priests and the essence of a just king. His appearance was as peculiar as his origin. Donning the attire of a Brahmin with sacred threads adorning his torso, his countenance bore features both divine and otherworldly. His face, though human-like, bore pointed teeth and ears, while a mask concealed the fiery brilliance that emanated from his eyes. His form was a fusion of human and beast, a torso covered in coarse hair and thorns, with clawed hands and bovine legs. From his back sprouted wings reminiscent of delicate butterflies, yet adorned with sharp thorns. Standing at an imposing height of eight feet, with a wingspan stretching six, Brahmadatya was a formidable sight to behold. Despite his fearsome appearance, Brahmadatya was known for his acts of kindness and swift justice. He roamed the countryside intervening in times of need and handing out punishment to those who transgressed. His bamboo stick, both a symbol of authority and a weapon of retribution, was wielded with precision and purpose. In the villages, tales abounded of Brahmadatya's interventions rescuing a drowning soul from the clutches of the river's current, or thwarting bandits preying upon unsuspecting travelers. His actions were lauded by the virtuous, yet feared by those who harbored ill intent. But amidst the tales of heroism, there lingered a secret known only to a few the weakness that tempered Brahmadatya's resolve. Despite his unwavering sense of justice, he was vulnerable to the tears of remorse. Genuine contrition had the power to stay his hand and soften his heart, compelling him to retreat from his course of action. One such tale spoke of a young man, consumed by greed and envy, who sought to usurp his neighbor's land through deceit and treachery. As he plotted his nefarious scheme, Ramadadia appeared before him, his fiery gaze piercing through the darkness of the night, with a voice like thunder. Brahmadatya condemned the man's actions, decreeing punishment for his transgressions. But as the man fell to his knees, tears streaming down his face, a flicker of hesitation crossed Brahmadatya's countenance. In that moment of genuine remorse, the spirit of righteousness relented, his resolve softened by the sincerity of the man's repentance. With a solemn nod, Brahmadatya withdrew into the night, leaving behind a changed man and a cautionary tale for all who dared to stray from the path of virtue. And so, the legend of Brahmadatya continued to echo through the countryside, a beacon of hope for the righteous and a harbinger of justice for the wicked. For in the realm of myth and legend, where the lines between good and evil blur, his presence served as a reminder that even the most fearsome spirits can be swayed by the power of remorse and redemption.